okay so this is the main gate uh, as you can see it's got the big um, barrels in the background and uh, this is the the main entrance out of this place so uh, I've got set up my uh, turret and I also have set up uh, two more turrets uh, either side with the guard station and uh, walls surrounding the entire place so uh, I've also got a spotlight for when it's dark it can kind of see what's happening uh, just in the center here is the farm so uh, this has all of my crops here uh, more turrets here inside this building this building's kind of empty but uh, I'm going to be assigning people to do scavenging with these uh, and I've got my other suit of power armor here um, so uh, this one's on a switch so when I switch this one off oh sod all happens oh that's because I've got that link directly didn't want to do that shit oh well I'll have to change that but uh, that's supposed to be linked up to this so that I can switch it off and save power when I'm not using this room um, again I've got the platforms coming out spreading the electricity to another building uh, going up to my radio station and then another turret uh, so this is my my room but I've got some bitch stuck in the table here uh, so this is my main room. I've put furniture blocking off the windows so that if we do get raiders attack they can't shoot through the windows because um, that has happened. Uh, get out of the way. So I've got another turret and I've got my bell. When you ring the bell all the villagers will come over to you. Uh, I've got another guard post here overlooking the farm. And then uh, this area is just like recreation area. People often sit around here for a bit and they'll be cooking or something when they're not doing anything. So uh, yeah, sorry. Between those buildings I've got more fences. I mostly use this type of fence for the simple reason it's so easy to place and the gaps that are in there no one can get through but they can be placed close together. I've also used this type as well for the simple reason that uh, it's cheap on resources and it snaps together easily you just gotta get the angle right but if you put it just in front of the building like I have here uh, you can just get the angle right and send it straight across to the next one it'll probably be easier than this but these ones are generally a bit wider so it's gonna save on resources uh, dog kennel uh, more farming stuff here so I got more muck fruit here uh, then I got my fence continued. This one's a small piece, just uh, an extra. This one's like one of the last pieces for the wood fence. And then uh, it goes all the way around to continue my farm to the next building. Next building, got a corpse. I'm hoping it will disappear at some point. But I uh, got more beds in here. And then uh, the cables for these, I have one, uh, one conduit in the center, which then goes out the window to a smaller pylon which I've also attached lights. Lights are not necessary but it looks good and then goes off to the big pylons. Generally I'm using the big pylons for the simple reason that they can go further as you can see I've got them all linked up surrounding the whole place. Uh, then I got more here. For all of the areas that are blank I've put these guard posts here for the simple reason that sometimes attackers will come from this side they can't get in but I don't know if they can damage the walls or anything I have no idea uh, then I've got more I've got water pumps and things this gap looks like you can get through it but you can't I've tried uh, slutty looking girl Hello. Uh, so yeah another this one's a human corpse but um oh ah oh, Jesus I never noticed that fucking hell how have I missed that but uh, yeah more more beds in here generally don't put any more than maybe three or four beds in these little places otherwise the settlers start to complain about the beds um, more turrets set up 
now the biggest problem with this place is uh, this area it's so uneven from these barrels from the big dick looking thing to this building so I've blocked it off from there put a guard post here which kind of blocks it off thrown a turret on this uh, this is the second high level one so that they can shoot anything and then I've added this small fence down here so that you know any attackers can't get through here they have to go this way past this turret if they manage to make it past this turret then the one that's hidden over here will take it out but uh, there's also guard posts more turrets over there uh, another guard platform, this one's a bit different from the usual ones, I've put a foundation below it to raise it up so that it's higher than the standard ones so that way this one can overlook, so if anyone's coming over you can start shooting from over there uh, then I put one of these here just to block this off because this building can't be used uh, the door's already blocked off, I didn't do that but yeah this building's fucked so you can't do anything with that um, I had another guard tower here because uh, originally this was boarded off until about here and then I had lots of wanky fences going up to here but decided this was a better option. Uh, I got another farm over here and then this is when I discovered that this was just the easiest way. When I set this up obviously they go at the same line so it's best to start from about the centre here and then just lead it going off and then just put a small piece at the ends just to support just to block it off basically but I'm going to extend this farm at some point when I've got the provisions for it and then uh, this is new I've just added this but I'll go into that in a minute so anyway uh, so this other building none of them really have doors they used to but I got rid of them so another one yeah so another one I got this this is a new light but yeah again the wires going up to the center of the ceiling if you put it in the center then everything will light up no problem and you can just feed the cable straight out the windows it's so much easier than screwing around putting them all around it um, so yeah, that goes down to a small pylon which then goes up to the big one with more of the straight fences with another guard post and then my shops well, one shop, two shop and got one more over there so uh, this this bit I didn't know what to do with this bit so I just dumped this thing here for the simple reason that when I put the small fence up the small wall it wasn't quite big enough so I dumped this on the outside um, so I got my shops you can buy from these people and sell to these people which is quite useful uh, the more expensive the shop because you need local leader too and uh, I think you need caps collector too as well perks but basically they'll sell better equipment the higher level they are and they'll have better quantity and more money so th this one I haven't really bothered putting beds in here yet but it's just got one in here and then a another corpse uh, going over to here I have added this is a pre-built building and just thrown some mattresses down so when I was here earlier about there were two people sleeping in here one light in the center and I put one on the outside of this wall here which you can just see poking through uh, so all of my other big generator then links up to this building and then basically it surrounds the whole perimeter uh, I got a turret in here because obviously this is where my resources are stored all in here uh, another turret set up here with guards another t another one uh, there my shop there and then uh, yeah this is where I put all my crafting stuff uh, block this door off I uh, didn't bother to destroy this don't know why and then left this here as well and then that's about it as you can see I have literally filled up the menu on here so uh, yeah that is about it